What's good, everybody? This is your boy JSP. Before I get anything started, I have a treat for you guys. But anything before I get anything started, make sure you guys hit that like button, that subscribe button, also subscribe to my boys. Another one, gaming and humans, gaming from all gaming lives, and they do some pretty dope stuff. And in tonight's episode of Riverdale, season three, episode fourteen, chapter forty-nine, prior walk with me. There was a lot that went down. I have a couple questions, as all as usual. Um, but as the episode went on, uh, we see Reggie and Veronica trying to implement a plan to take down their debt that uh, they they owe Gladys Jones because you guys don't recall. A couple episodes ago, Veronica and uh, Reggie destroyed all the jingle jangle, the jingle jangle locks that uh, the equipment to, to produce them that Hiram actually got from Gladys. And so when they destroyed that, Hiram was in serious debt. Now, we all thought this was like a big time viewer, but it turns out to be Jug, Jug, Jughead's mother that actually runs the operation and distributes it and so forth. And so with that being said, Veronica, you know, she was in a tight bind for a little bit, you know, having to come up with the money to actually pay Gladys back. But, as you all know, as Veronica is, she's very resilient and very strategic when it comes to when she's under pressure. She was able to weasel her way out of uh, the, the uh, memorial restraints that Glass put on her. She, and she said, look, you work for me now, bitch. As a matter of fact, the Pretty Poisons, you know, which is Cheryl Blossom's little group, along with her girlfriend, Tony, now work with Veronica. And you saw Veronica step right her go at the Glass and say, look, these are a part, these people, these women, these beautiful women, Work for me now, and you have to follow my every rule. You do as I say, just as they do. And I was like, okay. And Veronica was like, look, because I don't give a fuck how fucking how much leverage you have with this financial thing you have, this financial cloud you got over me. I don't give a damn. And then also, we see my boy Archie go through it too because he sees a kid by the name of Ricky. Um, he see him scurrying about in the gym. Turns out he's actually tasked with taking out Archie. And Archie even said that Fred and Jug and there's no there's no telling how long. Ricky was scouting him for, for weeks, maybe. You know, even uh, Ricky's mother, which is Hakeem, Ricky's actually Hakeem's little brother. And even Hakeem's brother, I mean, mother was like, listen, you need to watch yourself. Like, he really is a dangerous person. And we found that out the hard way. And Archie was really down because he was like, damn, I let my guard down for like one damn second and this happens. You know, because Archie's pretty much at his wit's end, you know, like he's done running and fighting for things and things of that nature. And so like, there's a lot of going on with that. And then, also, we see Betty finally just have gone through her damn wits in as well. She actually burned her, her childhood house down with Allison in it. Very reminiscent of Cheryl. So I'm wondering what's going to happen next week because, you know, we got a big, awesome trailer, you know, coming for us. Uh, an episode coming up next week. And I'm really excited to see how that goes. I think it's going to be pretty late. Um, another thing is, Dang almost got killed again by Kurt because he was dang them, I think, at the school. You know, that whole thing, if Jugga hadn't broken his sword, he would have broken his neck and killed him. And so there was a bit of a confrontation, like I said, an altercation between the recruited groupies and Jughead. Because, you know, the curb was, was popping off that shit. Talking about, look, man, your mom's recruited us. You need us more than you need you. And then FP pulled his son to his side and said, look, son, you have to run these these serpents the way you want to. You got to let them know, like, who's the damn boss. You got to, you know, you got to pull your pants up and, you know, tell them who's boss and so on. And so I really hope that Jack could actually put that in fruition and really put that in, out there. Um, another thing I want to talk about is just the whole situation with, I think, I think Cheryl's in the situation now because Principal Weatherby is on her ass now. And so which prompted, you know, trying to step in and give her a girl, you know, some, some much needed talk to. She was like, look, I don't want to see you. I'm going to have to like, like let you go, you know, for doing something so stupid. And plus I wouldn't want us whenever we hang out and spend time together to be really awkward. So we have to advise a plan or somehow and that's when you know Veronica says look how about I employ the pretty poisons you know and so then that way you know Veronica has some leverage she has some backup you know because Gladys Jones is a tough ass and I'm right. I don't give a fuck what anyone says she really is about that damn life she's really <laughs> she's really serious about this damn jingle jangle rock popping off in Riverdale I mean she did up in Toledo you know and that's how you know she's damn serious about what she's going through you know even Hiram got me on it he said look I got somebody that you know that throws in cars for pennies on the dollar, you know, to help distribute, you know, with my little prison. Maybe I can, maybe, you know, he's coming through your little speaker, you didn't like the little casino. Maybe you can show him a good time, you know, win things over time. Veronica wasn't having that shit. She was like, no, fuck you, Dad. I'm not doing that shit. So that kind of, that kind of actually severs things a little bit. Another thing, I'm just wondering, like, when is this game of uh, G&G &G going to end? I think it's going to end next week's episode, actually. So I really look forward to that. This has been your boy, Chase Peace. That's what I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments below. What are your theories as to what is going to happen next? Because my thing is, is Archie going to have to sacrifice himself to NG&G? How is this going to happen? And is Gladys Knight going to pull a, 
you know, when they start up a sleep that Veronica doesn't have coming. I hope I'm really I'm really shocked as to what's gonna happen next week. I really am. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. This has been your boy Shay Speaks. Peace and love once again. My condolences to the Luke Perry's family. Uh, Luke, may you rest in may you rest in paradise, and um, you'll never be forgotten in your memory and what you've done throughout life will never be forgotten and underappreciated. Peace and love, everyone.